Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, you cat, here we go again. (laughs) How did your weekend go this last weekend? Started off crazy. Um, I ended up helping out with a fundraiser for Brookings Harbor Community Theater. So they did a a talent showcase. Oh, yeah, we got got that in last Mm -hmm. minute last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did that go? I ended up singing a 90s song for them in my lovely green like not grange grunge outfit oh, okay green. cool and then of course i had to do a lip sync as elsa from <laughs> from frozen oh, so okay we got jason and the olaf costume bouncing around through some glitter at the audience it was a good time yeah he predicted that i saw that on facebook he predicted he goes I'm playing Olaf, huh? Uh-huh. Yep. Yes, he is. <laughs> I start laughing. I go, yes, you are, buddy. Yes, yeah, you yeah. are. <laughs> oh, yeah. They brought in some money. Everybody had a good time. Right on. Yeah, yeah it was nice, good, to, good, nice good. to see an event coming out from them again. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. And next time, have more heads up on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just had one week there on that one, so we weren't able to give it the love like we... But the turnout was great. That's turnout great. Was I'm great. glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I was going to say, maybe if they'd gone full blast on on marketing they, they would have had problems with too many people too many, like too, uh, having too many people oh, that turn away so if it was filled up and good yeah. i know yeah no i was like okay oh, all right go deal. go community right <laughs> on yeah well that's the same as that big fish you know they did that premiere the big fish at, oh at bad fish. yeah yeah and i wasn't able to make it because junior got his tonsils and he had some mm-hmm. he had some problems and stuff so i had to stay home with him and everything like that but uh mm-hmm. I guess there wasn't an empty seat in the house except for my two seats that I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I guess it was filled up and everything was like, it's okay, way to support the town, people. Yeah, get out and support what's going on, the local right. stuff. That's always good. And I hope we do our little part here doing it too. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so you ended up doing entertaining this weekend then. So. Mm-hmm. Very yes, cool. I did. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. Yeah. Can't help myself sometimes. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. I ended up doing nothing. Like I said, watching the kid, you know, and stuff. He had the tonsils. He had a few complications, and but he was okay, and everything was groovy, and yeah. <laughs> the life of being a parent. <laughs> yeah, the parent thing, yeah. <laughs> and it was funny. Like I just said, when I showed up, I go, well, I got him to school, and he's healed, and he's at school, and everything is groovy. So I said, I'm back in my flow again, you know. Right. I was like, yeah, jeez. <laughs> Sometimes it feels good to get back. Yeah, it was wild. That was, it was a wild couple of weeks, like I said. So, um, But we made it through alive. Everybody made it, and we had some fun, and there was all kinds of stuff going on. So, yes, indeedy. So, uh, yeah, but, yeah, I was just watching football this week is my big highlight. We're getting all ready for the, for the Super Bowl. So, the Niners, all right, it's just down to them playing the Lions next week, and we'll see who goes there. And then KC's got to play uh, – the Ravens, and we'll see who goes there, and we'll see who ends up at the Super Bowl. But, hey, the Niners are right on the edge there. They're right there. All they got to do is go through one more team, and they'll be there. So oh, yeah, My grandmother's on the edge of her seat over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. That's why I mm-hmm. mentioned it, because I know a lot of Niner fans here, too, as well, besides myself. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, very cool. So we hope for that. So we get to watch a Super Bowl and have some... Uh, like I told you, I'm on the fence with the Super Bowl thing. It's like, well, if my team don't go, well, then it's less stressful of a Super Bowl for me. Right. I can yeah. enjoy it. But if they do go, it's like, I want them to go. And then I want them to win, you know, and it's like, ah, you know, but mm-hmm. yeah. So mm-hmm. I just soon have a stressful one than a stress-free one. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So uh, come on, Niners, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, let's go. <laughs> but I'll tell you. I got to give them lions some love. I mean, they're sitting there talking about it's been like 60 something, like 64 years since they've been to a championship. Oh, okay. okay. There's this lady who was in the audience saying, I was nine years old. Oh my gosh. And I'm 73. That's it. And she goes, I was nine years old when they last played in a championship. And it's uh-huh. like, whoa, wow. <laughs> like okay. practically becoming like a Cubs level of curse there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So on the on one side, I got to give them some love too. Going well, you know, they are about due. Right. <laughs> what right. Say, yeah. but well, then best of luck to them. Yeah, best of luck to them too. So there you right. go. I ain't going to whine too bad, oh you know. Yeah. But my goodness, yeah, I, I thought about it. I go, ah, you know. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah. So I guess that's why they're all excited and they're on the money this year. So there you go. So I, I hope everybody got out there and had some fun this weekend. And we got some more stuff coming up. So before we get into the show, I'd like to thank. Track City Dispensary, 
the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows we have at KCIW, you just got to go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Well, it's a short one because we're just getting it together in the Insider, but we do have a music report. We do have some music this week. (laughs) We do have some music here, but next week it'll be filled up again. Yeah, yeah. So rounding out January, Cisco and Daltrey are going to be playing on the 27th at the Brookings Harbors Farmer's Market from 11 a.m. to 2.30. And then on the 31st, they'll be at the Checo Activity Center playing tunes from 11 a.m. to 1.30. Yep, and then Elk Valley Casino has got a couple more things left at the Betty Green Center on the 27th. They've got the stand-up comedy with Kabir Singh from America's Got Talent. That'll be at 8 p.m. And then at the Warriors Bar and Grill on the 26th and 27th, they'll have Hannah Pace Singer, and that music starts at 7. All right, and then we have another Misty Mountain Brewing music happening from 6 to 8 p.m. On the 26th, it's going to be Steve Nelson. And that is it, rounding that off. (laughs) Boom. Last week, we're like forking out a whole bunch, and this time, it all went bye-bye. Yeah, well, we're getting the Insider together, the Insider Southern Oregon, so I'll have all that music and a whole new script next week. Plenty, plenty coming up in February. There is a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, we can focus on what's happening the rest of this month, starting off at the Universal Heart Center at 710 H Street in Crescent City. They're presenting a full moon gong sound bath happening on the 25th from 6 to 7. Join Sela Sacred Sound as gongs and singing bowls bring in the first full moon of the new year. Four gongs, five metal singing bowls will guide you to a peaceful place behind all thought with overtone harmonies and tangible vibration. Chairs are provided. You can bring your own yoga mat, etc. for a grounding floor space. And it's going to be sliding scale energy exchange slash donations gratefully accepted after the occasion. And the event will begin with discussion and sound healing Q&A. The sounds will start about 6.15 and go on for an hour. And this is facilitated by professional musician and certified yoga instructor with 35 plus years practicing and studying therapeutic uses of sound and music. Yeah, I just don't know who it is. That's all. I still never found out who it was. But hey, you will if you take the class or you go to it. There you go. Hey, and Czech Co. Brewing Company is presenting a tribute to Rap Brush. This is coming up on the 26th. It'll be running from 6 to 8 p.m. The 26th of January would have been Rap's birthday, so they have a special night planned with a variety of musicians who loved and miss Rap. If you're a musician and you'd like to join into the tribute and would like more details, you can email them at music at checkcobrew.com. Otherwise, on the 26th at Czech Co. Brewing Company, Six to eight, they'll be doing a tribute to them. Yes, indeedy. Okay. And the Lucky Seven Casino is presenting a trivia night. This is also happening on the 26th of January. And you're invited to join them for trivia night on Friday. It's a buy-in for three rounds with some free slot play. Winners split the prize pool plus and cash is added to each round. You can put on your thinking caps and join them for some trivia fun. A little trivial action going on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, and SWAC is presenting Physics and Astronomy Lecture Series. This is observational evidence for a gravitational wave background. Southwestern Oregon Community College is excited to present a lecture by Dr. Xavier Siemens, North American Nanohertz Observatory for Gravitational Waves Physics Frontier Center, co-director and professor of physics at Oregon State University, who will discuss observational evidence for a gravitational wave background. This will be happening on Friday, January 26th, 6.30 p.m. This is a free event. All ages are welcome. Coos County residents can join them in person in the Umpqua Hall Lecture Room, 184 on the Coos Campus, 1988 New Mark Avenue in Coos Bay. And then Curry County residents can join them for a watch party in the community room on the Curry Campus, located at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway in Brookings. Dr. Xavier Siemens is a professor of Physics at Oregon State University recently reported multiple lines of evidence in favor of a stochastic background of gravitational waves in the nanograv 15-year data set. This result is consistent with findings from other collaborations around the world. In this talk, he will discuss the data set, analysis, and interpretation of the findings as well as future work. The latter includes a detailed spectral characterization of the signal we have found to better understand its origin, and searches for an individual signals that would enable multi-messenger observations 
of the largest black holes in the universe. So did you understand any of that that I just said? I'm going to tell you. I know, like, black holes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? If you want to learn more about that, it sounds like you're going to go to the right place. That is the place this guy day. knows his stuff, it sounds like. Yeah. But gravitational wave background. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a whole other thing that I have no clue what's going on there. Yeah, but it I had me lost in space until I saw the black hole thing. And then I kind of, okay. okay. I yeah. can see, like, gravity, black holes. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Yeah, yep. Yeah, all coming together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you want to get some knowledge? 6.30 p.m. for January That's January right. It's swag. That's swag. And, hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from science fiction writer Isaac Asimov. He was born on January 2nd, 1920. He says, any book worth banning is a book worth reading. <laughs> like that one, yeah. The true delight is in the finding out rather than in the knowing. He says, life is pleasant, death is peaceful, it's the transition that's troublesome. And last but not least, people who think they know everything (laughs) are a great annoyance to those of us who do. (laughs) I love that one. (laughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Isaac Asimov with Cousin Bruce. Until next week, have a great one. You know, I've used that quote many times, and I was wondering who came up with that. And yeah. it's like, I'm going to give him credit on that one. Yeah, yeah it sounds about right. <laughs> it's almost as if you put one of those in there just for me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you which one, but hey. <laughs> I've always said that. Those of you who think you know it all really are annoying to those of us who do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, it's that one. Uh, all righty. Sunset Family Pizza is presenting an at-risk youth Yahtzee fundraiser. Yahtzee. A lot going on on the 26th. This is also happening on Friday the 26th. Check in at 5.30. The game itself starts at 6. And the Curry County Juvenile Department is hosting this game night fundraiser on the 26th. This is a great fundraiser to help Curry County youth. There are limited seats and tickets, and it is a $20 donation. Yahtzee fundraiser. I haven't, you never see, you don't see that all the time. A you gave a chance there. Cool. All right. <laughs> cool. Yahtzee's cool. I like it. Oh. It's easy. It's easy, too. Right. It's like self-explanatory as you go along. Oh, so. yeah. 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 Hey, dance in Pistol River, a community contra dance at the Pistol River Friendship Hall located at 24252 Carpenterville Road in Pistol River. This is happening on the 27th from 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Everyone is welcome. It's open to singles, couples, and families. Casual social dance featuring fun and easy contra and English country dances. No partner or previous experience is needed. Dance instruction and calling by Paul Pereski and Laura Lee Cundiff will be provided. And then there'll be live music by the Pistol River Players. <laughs> this is free to the public, but they do uh, request a $5 donation. It's so there you suggested. Go. You know. $5 yeah. suggested there. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, always, it's, like it's fun. always good to help pay for things. Sounds like those, ink, you know, like um, Pride and Prejudice. Like, see the movie, Pride and Pre- where they have like the dances and the balls and stuff like that. And, yeah. Uh, like team dances. I'm thinking of that. I don't know if that is what that is. Contra is what's got me thrown off the contra. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Yeah. yeah. But if you ever wanted to live out your Jane Austen fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right. That's cool. (laughs) Dance. Dance the night away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Tanaka is presenting Ji Yoon Kim at the Crescent Elk Auditorium. That's at 994 G Street in Crescent City. And that's going to be on Saturday the 27th at 3 p.m. And Danaka presents their third concert of the 2023-2024 performance series with Ji Yoon Kim, featuring a blending of poetry and music. Ji Yoon delights audiences with a sparkling combination of sensitive artistry, broad emotional range, and impeccable technique in her innovative concert experiences. This concert will include video, poetry, piano, and incredible true life stories. This will be a special matinee performance. Tickets are now available online at danaka.eventbrite.com. And after January 5th, so hey, they are available in person now at Del Nor Office Supply in Crescent City. General admission is 20 bucks. Seniors get in for 18 and students, it's just $15. And any remaining tickets will be available at the door. Yeah, that sounds like a good one there. Yeah, get old to you and Kim. Mm-hmm. Hey, Curry Public Library District in Gold Beach is presenting... Reproduce and elevate your art. Learn how to make high-quality prints of your art and architectural plans using the library's wide-format printer. This is for ages teen or adult. This program is part of the Elevate Your Art series offered by the Curry Public Library Tech Lab in the winter-slash-spring of 2024. Discover how the Tech Lab can help you take your art, craft, or hobby to the next level 
through this series of programs. All programs are free, equipment is provided, and please reserve a space at www.currypubliclibrary.org slash events so they can meet the equipment needs for each participant, which is very cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Accommodating is always nice. You've got a great tech lab up there. Yeah. All right, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history. For your knowledge, pleasure. Did you know the Taj Mahal was covered in wood during World War II? It's true, and here's the story. In 1942, during the Second World War, the British thought that the Taj Mahal was vulnerable to bombing by the German Luftwaffe bombers and also the Japanese and placed bamboo scaffolding over the Taj Mahal. They have pictures of it that show the dome of Taj Mahal covered with a thick layering of bamboo scaffolds. It is widely believed that the whole Taj Mahal was layered. The same thing was done when India was fighting a war against Pakistan in 1965 and 1971. The purpose of the scaffolding was to make Taj Mahal look like a bamboo stockpile from inside of a bomber plane flying miles above. Keep in mind that back then there was no high-precision GPS and satellite imaging. Since this was to be kept as secretive as possible, the images are very, very scarce to find online. Another thing that is hardly known is that the Taj Mahal was covered with cloth after the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Towers as a precautionary measure by the Archaeological Survey of India. Hmm. Hope you enjoyed this week's bit of history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real. But always keep it weird. I just found that as an interesting oh, little. Um, they covered it up, you know, to keep the planes. Cultural from preservation, it. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah they, like, and, and it worked. Thinking ahead, because uh-huh. you know that would have been a sight, man. That uh-huh, was, you know, yeah. if they would have saw that out there, that would have been one of the first yeah. things all gleaming in the sun. Right. Yeah, yeah. but they're right. Uh-huh. You know, the GPS or nothing back then. They, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that was excellent foresight there. Good thing, yeah, smart. Hey, heading back to Curry Public Library in Gold Beach, they're presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry meets the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 to noon. And that's again at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for this program, please email memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. Yep, some more good stuff going on there at Gold Beach there. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, they got a big grant, I guess, and just took care of business. They're all set up with some really these fancy stuff that we're talking about yeah. lately and everything. Mm-hmm. So, yep, very cool. Very cool. We're lucky to have two cool libraries in our area. Within driving distance. <laughs> yeah, within driving distance, exactly. <laughs> hey, the VFW Legacy Bricks fundraiser is going on. A VFW Post is raising money to fix its building, upgrade its heating, electricity, and improve landscape. They have raised approximately 30000 but need another 20000 to complete the work. And they are selling legacy bricks that will highlight the entrance of the building, featuring messages of memory to veterans respected by their loved ones. Each brick will cost the donor $100, and every purchased brick will be laid professionally in front of the post for everyone to observe. They will also conduct more yard sales, provide meals for a nominal donation, and sponsor other groups in their activities. Once the building is completed, the VFW Post 966 will serve the veterans and community of Brookings. They are active in the Brookings community, a member of the Brookings Chamber of Commerce, now the Curry County Chamber of Commerce, and supporter of the Brookings City Council. They support the veterans, providing ceremonies, funerals, and memorials. The VFW Post 966 is a 501c19, a nonprofit group with all members being veterans of foreign wars. Their national charter began in 1939, and they have approximately 20 million members throughout the United States. Veterans Post 966 is located at 507 Pacific Avenue in Brookings, right there across from the high school. Mm -hmm. See it right there on the corner. It's Mm -hmm. fine. Very visible. Yes. 
All right, and KCIW is currently doing a soapbox series. So KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a new show called the KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. Of course, there are a few rules, no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for folks to come in and record. Yeah, I haven't heard nothing from that one yet, so I wonder how that's going along. Hopefully it's going on good. Mm -hmm. If you got something to say out there and you want to say it, here's your opportunity to say it. Just just be nice about it. (laughs) That's right. Hey, and it's game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is located at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater, Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You got Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and a whole lot more fun there going on at game night at the Whimsical Griffin. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, we've got a PSA here from Meals on Wheels. They're currently in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to homebound residents that can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have both a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a great opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community, be a friendly face, and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound folks. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month of service, all volunteers are welcome. And they ask that if you want to get involved, contact Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yep, and then we got Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America. They're always scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night except on holidays. You can meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Haglin. That's 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson. And her number is 707-951-3647. I'm glad, like I said, to see them moving along. And I've been seeing them out there doing stuff. And it looks like they have a few more hands out there, a few more kids. So... Good deal, because I want Junior to get on there as soon as he can. Yes, indeedy. And hey, we've got some info here about Fog and Fine Art Gallery. Located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings, this gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery, open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541-469-7900, or you can visit them on Facebook. They're at Wright's Custom Framing. They are. Hey, and then we've got Brookings MS Self-Help Support Group, conversation and support for other people living with MS, multiple sclerosis. Join others living with MS to talk, share experiences of successfully living and coping daily with MS. Share information and resources in a positive atmosphere. Topics will focus on areas of interest to the group members. This group is for people with MS, family, friends, and caregivers. And they ask that you please reach out prior to attending with an email to AudreyMS18 at AOL.com. And you can also find them on Facebook at MS Walk and Rollers. Meetings will be the second Tuesday of the month at 11 a.m. at the Chetco Community Library Annex Building across the street from the library located at 402 Alder Street in Brookings. And we've got some time for the community kitchen schedule here. First off on Mondays, it happens at St. Timothy's from 11 to noon. Then Tuesdays through Saturdays, it all happens at noon. On Tuesdays, it's at St. Timothy's. Wednesdays, it's Star of the Sea Catholic Church. Thursdays at the Presbyterian Church. Fridays at the Lutheran Church. The first, third, and fifth Saturdays at St. Timothy's again. And then on the second and fourth Saturdays, it's at the Church of the Nazarene. And then finally, on Sundays, St. Timothy hosts an early dinner from 3 to 4. And you can also find the full community kitchen schedule and double-check that at kciw.org. 
Yeah. Hey, well, that's it. We got a few minutes left. Uh, Kat, did you have something coming up? Your three penny got anything coming up? Or yeah. you, well, we, we yeah, do throw something a, in there at us if you got. Of fact, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting on February 9th, the play Love Letters, presented by Three Penny, is going to be playing at the Brookings Event Center, and that is at 800 Checo Avenue, Unit B in Brookings. That's right across the street from Les Schwab. So we go in there and we turn it into a pop-up theater for 40 seats, an intimate little house there. And you can watch this great play starring Lori Pepsis and Mike Vess. And it is about this couple who recounts the tale of their on-again, off-again romance and deep friendship over the course of their lives through the series of letters that they exchanged starting from when they were small children. It's a sweet story. It's a funny and poignant story. And... It's a good play to see if you're looking maybe for a Valentine's date night on the weekend before or after yeah. Valentine's Day. So tickets are $15 general admission. We've got uh, discounts for students, seniors, and veterans. And you can get tickets at threepennytheater.com. Love Letters. Now, is that a Broadway play? Did they do so that that's big? Played on I've heard that Broadway, before. That's and actually, played. a really cool fun fact about it is that it uh, actually, the judge in the O.J. Simpson trial, when the jury was sequestered because they were sequestered for so long, yeah. the judge brought in the L.A. cast of Love Letters to come in and do a performance just to entertain them while they're just having really? cut off from society. Wow. Yeah. It's a, so it's it's a good one. So many famous actors and actresses have played those roles before. It's just yeah, a two-role two thing though, right? Play. Oh, wow. It's a two-person play. It's, it's very widely known, especially on the East Coast. Yeah. And, and yeah, beautiful story. So again, the 9th through the 18th of February, Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m., and then uh, Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. Again, tickets at threepennytheater.com. Yeah, and that's right across the street from Les Schwab right there. Very cool. Yeah, that sounds like a good deal. Yeah, mm. yeah, right on. I knew I'd heard of it before, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you had that in the arsenal. Like next week, we'll have a full thing. I'll start all fresh with February. And so. aren't you impressed with me being able to rattle that all off the top of my head? I know, yeah. <laughs> and I've been saying this ending for our closeout for the past six years, whatever the heck. And, Still got to read it. <laughs> yeah. okay. Isn't that funny how you remember some things? But I mean, I'll remember a whole play. I'll uh-huh. remember songs. I remember everything. But uh-huh. this stupid little thing here, I'm trying to remember this is like. Because you're I, used to reading it. Yeah. And I'm just used to reading the script. I put it out there. So if there's a script, there's a script. <laughs> well, speaking of a script, it looks like it's time for you to rattle that off. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's time to get out of here. So before we go, we'd like to uh, say, hey, remember to always shop local, support them local businesses. And. It's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, by going to KCIW.org. And hey, while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. All right, well, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out out there. Bam! Bam. Bam. Got it right this time. I'm still so impressed. That was really good. I mean, yeah, that was awesome. She just ripped that right out, man. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.